Did I hear a squeak? Hello guys, my name is Mac and welcome to my story in Dota 2. So today I will share with you guys a nice journey of me playing Dota 2, how did I play the game, what did I do to get better, what was my rank, and how did I get a motor rank in Dota 2. But before we start, remember guys to subscribe and like the video and also I would love to thank every one of you guys for being supportive in my previous video. Like I was reading all the comments and I was so happy reading them because you guys are actually amazing and I'm glad to have you guys as a family. So with that being said, let's dive into the story. So it all started with my best friend. His name is Fed and he's a nice chubby guy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, he's a toxic guy and he introduced me to Dora 2 and toxicity as well. So I'm being toxic because of him. I'm the victim here, don't blame me. So he introduced me to the game, showed me the basic, how to buy items, how to last hit, how to deny the creeps as well, and how to play my hero. My first hero was Draw Ranger. I picked her because, you know, my friend said she's a good guy, and also because I loved her boobs. I love Opa, you know. So since I don't know other heroes' abilities, I was just learning how to adapt to the game by spamming one hero, and I started to learn about the other heroes' abilities when I faced them. And I was asking my friend the whole time if I can kill or not because that's the only thing that I like about this game. Kill it bitches and get money. So I started expanding my hero pools and I added two heroes, Mirana and Phantom Assassin. Because I had no girlfriend, alright? So I had to pick a female to show my dominance and also to jerk off while I'm playing. You know, it's a win-win. Until Valve decided to show us the dark side of the game. The matchmaking rank system, where five random shitty players play together to destroy the enemy ancient in one hour bloody game, just to write easy game I fuck your mom. So my friend was a high 3k player, where you know 3k players used to get a lot of respect because the highest rank was 4k and some geeks reached to 5k and then there was one of them. So I played 10 games and I got placed in 2k MMR, 2k flat 2000 MMR. And my friend said only Russians get 2k, even though I thought Russians kill each other in the real life which is the only game that they have, and never knew they have internet. So basically I was a Ruski. Ruski blood. So I started trying hard playing the game, playing my rank games and learning the game. I was so sad and depressed to get a high MMR to brag about it to my friend, which was something sad but it's cool for me, you know. So I was watching players that plays my hero like PA, there was no meta, there was just us playing random heroes. So I started watching Purge because he was the only guy that used to make videos on YouTube. So I was like so sad watching a boring 40 minutes of Purge playing. And don't get me wrong, I love Purge, but it's so boring to see him reacting to how he gets a rampage. Oh, I get a rampage. That's it, that's his fucking reaction. And it was it's so educational that I actually sleep when I watch his games. So it was more like attending a lecture, which I never did because I always run out of school. I know, I used to be a cool kid. So after a long fight with the Russians, thousands of players died before they even reached and climbed that Ruski mountain. I reached my goal. I got 3.2k MMR. I was so happy and I wanted to brag about how good I am in this game, but it was too late. My friend was almost 4k, it was like 3.8k MMR, so I knew it's only the beginning. I tried my best, but I wasn't good enough at the game. I knew that I'm not doing something correctly, so I started my journey looking for the answer. And finally, I came up with an answer. It's not me, it's my fucking team. I was so fucking arrogant and I sucked duck in this game, but it was so hard to tell myself the truth that I'm the one who's bad. Like it's impossible to blame you team or the server every game because I get suka blood in my team. So I stopped playing ranked. I started training and learning about the game. I was watching BSJ when he used to suck at the game and wearing banana costume every time he gets a donation. Lucky Twitch thought. I started learning about the creep equilibrium and how to be efficient with my farm. My best friend was even good with Invoker and he said this hero is impossible for you to learn him. 
So I played hundreds of games with Invoker to master him because I don't like someone telling me what I cannot do. And I was watching Ice 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 when he used to be, you know, a good mid lane player with Invoker. Maybe a little greedy, Ice Ice Ice. Thinking about force stepping in. Gale's gonna hit on the Ford Spirits. Look at the damage. <laughs> you were no match for my power. Then when I finally felt like I can do it, I said I need a fresh start. So I made this new account, which is my current account, and I tried so hard in every single game. I was also tracking my performance with Dora buff, and every time I play and win more games, I play against the better players, and I was like, you know, playing only Queen of Pain, Invoker, and Tinker and the mid lane, and sometimes I play in the safe lane with PA, Slark, and Antimish, and back in my days, they used to be in the meta, so I spammed the shit out of them in normal games, which is sad, but I needed to win, you know, I wanna have a perfect TDA. So finally, when I reached level 20, which is the level that you need to play ranked, the bloodbath started. I played a hard 10 calibration games, I tried so hard, and I only lost 2 games out of 10. And when I saw my MMR, I couldn't even believe it. I get 4.1k MMR. And I was so happy because I tried my best to get it. I was working on my individual skills in every single game. Like focusing every time on something. Like how to outplay the enemy mid lane. How to dodge gank, map awareness and do a good rotations. Knowing my limit with the heroes and shit like that. I had to learn all that just to get this fucking stupid rank. And I was even thinking that... 4k is like a dream bracket but it was a living hell full of russians so i ignored everything and i went to my best friend's house to just tell him about my new rank and also to brag to be honest because i went all that way to brag i know that's sad and he was like it's not fair you only got 4k because you made a new account you will drop eventually okay i won't lie he doesn't sound like that he sounds more like a black woman yeah you only got 4k because you made a new icon. I'm gonna whoop your ass. This is how actually he sounds like. And I was so happy that the only thing that I kept saying is, shut the fuck up you 3k shit saying, I'm so good you suck ass. Because he never reached 4k. When the highest rank was like exactly 6k or something like that. So I went back and started playing the game even more. I kept watching players that are actually good at the game to see what's the differences between me and them. Like when they smurf, they win so easily. So it must be not only skills, it's game knowledge. And I was right. I started downloading games of high rank games and only spectating what do they do and why they are doing it so I can copy them. So when I did that I reached 4.8k MMR and I was so close to the dream, the 5k MMR. But I couldn't move past that rank, I kept winning and losing until I figured out that I need only to play a few heroes that are so OP. So I spam more flame before they do even the rework on him and I reach fucking 5k. That's where I felt like that I'm so good. I was even making YouTube videos and I was so proud about it when even my channel was so small. So I stopped playing ranked and I only played it like once every while until my friend came and asked me to give him my account because he wanted to feel like how 5k looks like. And he was a 3k and he was a good support to be honest. I gave him my account. So he played a couple of games. Sadly, after almost like three weeks of not playing the game, I found out that dipshit dropped me to fucking 3.7k MMR. I thought he's gonna only play like, you know, five games and I'm fine with losing 100 MMR or even 200. Not fucking almost 1k 100, you fucking dipshit. So my best friend was laughing so hard at me because he saw my rank getting dropped and he thought that it was me. And he was like, I told you, you belong to fucking 3k shit stain, I'ma whoop your ass. So I was mad and the only thing that I was thinking about is to win games. That's when I only start spamming my dear hero, Klinks, Oscar and Broodmother. Don't judge me, okay? I can't fucking rely on 3k or 4k players to win me games. So I had to play, you know, a hero that is cancer to just win me games. I learned the heroes in another smurf account, so I don't lose in my main account. I know, that's so fucking shady. And the only thing that I did is spamming them. And I got back to my 5k MMR in almost two weeks only. And when they introduced the new medals, I got a divine as well after the calibration. And I only spammed these heroes because they were broken. 
and not much people knew about it. So I spammed them until I even got to 6k but it was actually hard to get it. That's when Valve made a new medal for 6k players which is Immortal and after the calibration I got placed as an Immortal rank 77 or something like that. And I kept like between like 100, top 100 and 200 for almost two weeks because I was winning so hard and a lot of people start playing the game and they are getting rank, a high rank. So that's the max rank for me to get it. So this is exactly what I did. I was honest with myself and I only got better because I told myself that I need to improve. I was bad at the game. Playing the game only won't make you even better. Even if you have like 10k hour in this game. But at the end of the day, you still have a low rank, like ancient or something. Because you reach to the point where you focus only on your teammate mistakes, not yours, and you stop blaming them. I got almost now 6.5k MMR, and I still feel there's a lot of things to learn in this game. Because players on top 100 got their rank for a reason. So stop bitching about the game and watch guide and practice, because trust me, I did the same shit even in League of Legends and I got a decent rank in two fucking weeks. But that's another story because I got fucking suspended! <laughs>